Hello everyone, uh, I'm here at the uh, sports hub as you can see from behind me. Um, I'm not going to be a tour guide today but what I'm going to be doing is from here setting up my stuff and then heading down to the southern part of Singapore to be able to uh, do a little review of the DJI Mini 2. <laughs> I almost forgot that because they changed the name. Anyway, I'll be heading off from here. Interesting place. That is the uh, sports hub, uh, or what used to be called the National Stadium. So right now, I'm just going to hit on my bike and head on down there and then talk about the DJI Mini 2. Right, hello everyone, I'm Fletch and I'm on my bike now uh, after setting up my stuff and I will be going off to this place uh, where I will be talking about the DJI Mini 2 it is about maybe seven minutes away from here uh, and hopefully while I'm riding I won't get distracted because I'm using a GPS to be able to navigate to that place and hopefully you know I don't get lost anyway today's review would be more about a motor vlogger's perspective on the use of drones right so I had the DJI uh, Mavic Mini which is the first one and the reason why I got it was because uh, I wanted something small that I could fit into my luggage for longer trips uh, for shorter one or two day trips I could still put my uh, Mavic 2 Zoom which is for much big but I needed something smaller that you know wouldn't take uh, too much space in my luggage so as I was saying luggage is a uh, premium and obviously it's important that I be able to keep my clothes and stuff and electronics and then charging and what have you but the most important thing is of course being able to bring the drone after flying it for a couple of times I realized that it's nothing to do with it being light although the new stronger motors for the propellers to me is that the drone needs to be well I wouldn't say reliable but that needs to be to give some confidence right so the problem is that if you notice in Singapore uh, it and all the places I've been to in Singapore it's basically a built-up area it's an urban area lots of Wi-Fi signals and everything else and then the mini Mavic mini is basically uh, on Wi-Fi I couldn't fly it very far not that I should anyway you know it should be on the visual line of sight I need to be responsible and say that but you know at the end of the day you, you, you can't be flying a hundred meters and then lose connection now with the new Mini 2 or the DJI Mini 2 um, it is now on OcuSync 2.0 which is similar to all its top of the end uh, models uh, including the Mavic 2s and honestly when you fly it you know that you'll never lose signal the quality on the screen is clear you get HD quality you can see what you're doing on the phone and so forth so it's important that you know you have that plus the fact that now the motors as I mentioned earlier are stronger so it gives you more confidence in high winds as well you don't want to lose your drone to a uh, sudden gust of wind at X number of uh, meters, right? Anyway, we're almost there, uh, about 900 meters away, or almost a kilometer away from my destination. This thing here I'm passing by is, uh, I think I was passing for the duck, it's an amphibious thing uh, that they do water tours on. Kind of see the parking already it should be on my right hand side so i'll head off into the parking lot park the guy and then see where i can get some nice shots right we are here at our destination the parking lot that i want to go to um, and then we'll go and talk a little bit more about the drone a few moments later uh, i'm here at my destination and believe it or not i'm right on the roof top of uh, the car park and it's got some nice views here just check out what is behind me right take a look at that 
Right, that's the Singapore Flyer and that's basically the point of origin that I'll be doing my little flight and talking to you a little bit about the DJI Mini 2. Now, the, I find it really hard to use that particular name uh, because we keep getting it mixed up. So originally it was the DJI Mavic Mini and now it's called the DJI Mini 2. It's basically the same drone but uh, it doesn't have the new features that features in the two, obviously, because it's brand new, right? So, uh, as I was saying, one of the reasons why I bought this drone is because it's small uh, and I'm able to put it into a luggage. Let me just show you. This is the DJI Mini 2. As you can see, it's really very small, palm size. Uh, it is about less than 250 grams. In fact, it's even less than what it was before. It was 249 and now it's uh, 239, I believe. Uh, but if you add the old uh, DJI Mini battery to it, then it actually exceeds the 250. So we have to be careful about that particular thing. So it's pretty small. It fits in the palm of your hand. And obviously, it will be able to uh, fit into my luggage, right? As opposed to the, the Mavic 2. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the differences. So the first of which is, besides the weight of course, is the fact that it was running on Wi-Fi for the original Mini. And the Mini 2 is running OcuSync 2. Uh, the other difference, of course, now they started off with a camera at 2.5K for the original Mini and now it's 4K. And also, because of the 4K camera, they now actually included raw footage for photos, which I'll try and take in, in, in a little bit, to be able to show you the quality as well. And of course, the most important thing for me besides OcuSync Ocu is the fact that now the Mini 2 comes with stronger motors and these motors actually can stand up to a level 5 wind condition. It's not very windy today, thank goodness, uh, but I knew that even under the slightest breeze, the old Mini or the original DJI Mavic Mini couldn't hold itself well against uh, a strong gust of wind. Let's see how this thing fares. I mean, I've seen a lot on YouTube how it handles well on strong winds, less uh, issues and everything else. I've just got a new firmware update on this, so let's take a look and see how it fares as well. Uh, I'll try and put up, uh, as I'm talking, I'll put up the specs uh, of the new uh, DJI Mini 2 uh, and let you see the difference between the two. Uh, but I want to show you, I want to talk a little bit about my perspective as a motor blocker to be able to see different perspectives. So you take a look at this situation here. Uh, ground level, you can see behind me, the Singapore Flyer, great view and everything else, but that's the only perspective you have. If I was to go to a wonderful location, uh, say on top of a mountain or something, uh, I want to be able to give the viewer the chance to see where exactly I am, how beautiful the surroundings are and how wonderful the place is. So that's one of the important things uh, for me getting that particular drone. And, and this review, uh, and I'll share my thoughts after this, as to how it fared and, and my thoughts on flying it and how well it felt it fared uh, flying up into uh, the distance and so forth and interference and what have you. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map.
Right, I've done uh, my flight already. Uh, and here are my impressions. It definitely gives me, it gives me more confidence in flying. It was different when I was flying the original Mavic Mini uh, because to me, the signal keeps cutting off. So you don't feel that, that sense of uh, confidence. So in this case, when I was flying it, there was some interference, obviously, because the flyer is fully metal, you know, and there's everything that's metal around here. But the, the, the warnings I got was few and far between. I lost well, I didn't lose connection, it just started a little bit. But otherwise, it handled like a champ. Uh, I had zero wind uh, warnings at all, which to me was excellent, uh, which would mean that the thing could handle all those winds. Although I didn't put it in city mode, I was putting it in normal mode, I didn't put it in sports mode. So it handled itself well under normal circumstances. Obviously, if it was quite bad, I'll put it in sports mode to just get a little bit more oomph inside, but it handled like a champ. I took it all the way to the Marina Bay Sands uh, and even past that and I even zoomed in to the new Apple store which is the first in the world by the way uh, on the bay uh, on the water so that was interesting architecture uh, and I also took uh, some pictures as well now when it came to control of the quality of the video for the mini was 2K, I didn't have any manual controls, you know, I just controlled the EV, uh, the exposure value. That didn't really help very much. But here in this case, I could literally dial it in, you know, to cut out the overexposed bits, you know, everything was pretty clear. Uh, it was 4K, obviously, I could control everything. Uh, and I took some photos, obviously, I'll, I'll post up the photo uh, here. to let you see uh, the quality that came out of the camera. Now, obviously I'm going to be doing some Lightroom work, you know, to, to make it pop a little bit, but maybe I'll show you side by side original and what I did with uh, the Lightroom because it was in raw format. So you get more quality, more uh, information out of the colors and everything else. And of course, I could do better distance. Of course, you had the quick shots. Now, I tried a quick shot earlier on the uh, flyer, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm not able to, to select the object. I selected it once, but I lost contact. I suspect that there was a bit of high wind because I could see it jockeying for, for, for stability. And that could have been caused the, could have caused the problem there. Probably if I shot up my Mavic 2, I wouldn't have that issue. But in any case, uh, I'm, I'm sure it works uh, for most cases. Uh, in this case, for inanimate objects, I'm not too sure. Right? So uh, again, we can see uh, behind me the Marina Bay Sands. That's how far it is from here. Uh, and I flew it all the way there. Uh, pretty awesome. So anyway, folks, uh, that is my take on it. Uh, I think this is an awesome drone to get. Uh, I wouldn't suggest to get this for beginners because there's no obstacle avoidance you really have to know what you're doing uh, be aware of your surroundings practice in an open field know what you're doing then maybe take it out you know lots of times people have crashes and everything else because they are inexperienced I've flown many drones in my life so I could comfortably say if you really really want strangely enough to uh, get one with obstacle avoidance and I would suggest the Mavic Air uh, if you do have a budget or you have the money to spend but otherwise uh, if you're confident enough and I know that many people have the DJI Mini 2 uh, fellow youtubers uh, as well so I think uh, to me if you're a confident flyer most of them have been flying drones for some time so that's not an issue uh, is it a good drone yes is it uh, a drone for normal stuff videos and, and simple things not professional yes to a certain point, but it comes close to it because of the video quality and photo quality. Uh, if you want a professional drone, get the, Ma the get the Air, get the Mavic 2. Otherwise, this is the perfect drone for you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, my name is Fletch, uh, and if you haven't yet, please click the like button. And of course, if you haven't yet as well, please click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to let you know 
when is the next video I'm putting out. Thank you very much. Happy holidays, everyone, and take care.